There is a rich literature around the issue of reminiscence, and what we know from the literature is that reminiscence can be a powerful intervention that taps into this very basic aspect of human nature, which is to remember. Reminiscence can be done at the individual level in a more formalized life review that's left as a recorded legacy for the older adult's family, but it can also be just a fun activity that can be something that, that older adults without memory impairment can engage in. And it's not, it's not the product of what comes out of that. It's, it's the process and the enjoyment that the person experiences while they're engaged in it. The Alzheimer's Association is really the world leader in Alzheimer's care and support. And we got involved with a reminiscence work group uh, a couple years ago when St. Louis University and the Veterans Administration were interested in developing a reminiscence work group and we served as the trainers on dementia specific support and from there it led eventually to the chapter developing our own program called the Cardinals Reminiscence League and now we're involved in creating a toolkit that others can use. I heard about the idea of the Cardinals Reminiscence League first from Dr. Morley from St. Louis University who had recently visited in Scotland where they had a football or what we would call soccer reminiscence league that was very successful uh, working with people who have dementia. The goal of the Cardinals Reminiscence League is to enhance support for individuals with dementia and to help improve their mood, it helps to keep them socially engaged, and to provide meaningful activity for the person with dementia. It's not about me or Marion or whoever's facilitating, it's, it's, you know, pull these people in, make them feel comfortable with sharing some of the things that they recall. On your scorecard, it indicates that we're going to talk today about uh, Whitey Herzog, Whitey Ball, in the 1980s. Anybody remember the 1980s and Whitey Ball? That was a fun time, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And I also indicated uh, Jack Buck, but you know, after I started doing research on, on Whitey and, and the 80s, there's just so much material, I just don't think we'll get to Mr. Buck today. So we'll have a lot of fun when we, uh, when we do talk about him. The Cardinals Reminiscence League offers people who are living in the community, specifically with cognitive impairment, an ability to come together to talk about the Cardinals baseball team. And the goal is just to make it a social, fun event where people can talk about their experiences growing up, going to Cardinals games, living near Cardinals players, looking at memorabilia, and just bringing out that social time and helping them to, to find meaning in present day based on past events. Often when we provide activities to older adults, we tend to gear it towards women. And the Cardinals Reminiscence League and Reminiscence Leagues that focus on sports or other types of events that tended to be, at least in the past, more male dominant, provide some of these meaningful activities for our older men. And this is very important because I've had several older men tell me, I don't really find any of these activities very meaningful, and this is one that we can offer them that could be a little bit more up their speed. I also think it's important that we have male, males in a leadership role in the group, and I think having a male leader of the group is significant and helps the men to feel more relaxed and at home in the group and it really just being in that sort of male environment may be a part of what sparks special memories. There's some things to think about as you prepare to move forward whether it's individual or group reminiscence. First of all stay in the past um, if the person is comfortable there, if they're retrieving memories from the past, that's an important place for them to be. You can make an attempt to link it to the future or the present, but if they're, if they're having a good time in the past, let them be there. It's also important that you not challenge them on facts necessarily. Um, the truth as, as they remember it really is much more of 
of the issue than whether or not they got a particular fact correct. People arrive at the Alzheimer's Association office for the Cardinals Reminiscence League meeting and they're greeted by Coach Bob and the other volunteers who work with the program. The room is decorated with Cardinals memorabilia and we have white tablecloths and red decorations and there's usually snacks that are somehow related to baseball. So we might have popcorn and Cracker Jacks and uh, no beer. And uh, But we have um, the volunteers help the people with dementia to feel comfortable in the room, to uh, engage in conversation with one another and then the group gets started with the singing of the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Cardinals Reminiscence League is a strengths-based intervention. It really gets around the disability that people with Alzheimer's or other types of dementia have. Their primary disability is that their short-term memory is impacted by the Alzheimer's disease. And this intervention allows them to rely on their long-term memories, which are still incredibly strong. When I was young, I went to Cardinal Doubleheader, and between games, I was in the, the area underneath the stands, and Enos Slaughter came down the steps, and I said something about country slaughter. Because that, that, that was his nickname, right. or name, but I asked him about that, and he said he didn't know, he, he had told me that he didn't know that name, or he didn't know that people referred to him as that. Now that, I thought he was country slaughter. It's not about, you know, how much information that we can provide or share uh, about a particular baseball topic, but, you know, what it's doing for, you know, the folks in the meeting that, that have early stage Alzheimer's, you know, what you know, what, what does it, uh, you know, stimulate uh, as far as a memory? And uh, that's one of the really neat things about uh, being a part of this. Um, it's just to see some of that happening. You know, that some of the people who are quiet may not say much at all. Um, you know, at some point we'll feel comfortable and something will come back and they share it with the group. The beauty of this reminiscence work is that you can use it with any type of theme. So the Cardinals Reminiscence League could spin off to be a football league or a soccer league or tennis, any type of sport, but any type of theme. The Gateway Geriatric Education Center has embraced the concept of a reminiscence league and has really gotten behind the idea of the Cardinals Reminiscence League because it enables us to promote a non-pharmacologic intervention with persons with dementia. We've established a toolkit that other chapters can use to replicate this type of program with other sports themes or using other themes. The toolkit is going to be made available through promotion through the chapter system and also will be available on the St. Louis University website and the chapter website for other groups throughout the community locally, but across the country, so that any group could use this toolkit to replicate this model. Okay, on the count of three. Take, take me out to the ball game. game. Take, take me out to the crown. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back so let's root, root, root for the Cardinals. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Vince uh, told us a story that, you know, his dad was so excited about you know, coming to the meetings every week that, um, or every other week, yeah, that uh, he'd have his cap on, his Browns cap on at 7 o'clock in the morning. You know, when we go in the meeting, what time does the meeting start? 
And, yeah. uh, you know, and that makes you feel good. Oh, yeah, because that was a special day for him. All right.